I'm Mark R. You probably recognize me from Twitter. I'm kind of a big deal. I'm a virtual student working with the Renfrew County District School Board Junior Math RMS, and I am a representation of the data of over 168 students and the basis of a district-wide learner profile. I'm the only student on the math leadership team. What's up? I'm the voice for students. No pressure, right? If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'm at Mark R. Student. Get it? Marker students? There's a pile of stuff on hashtag RCDSB math. Hashtag we're trending. I've got to be honest. I'm not doing all this on my own. I've got a whole team here with me. Wave, guys. Oh, these guys are a bunch of beauties. We knew it was important to have the right people on our team. Our math leadership team has people from the curriculum and special education departments, as well as our technology coaches. We even have system leaders and school principals. It's like the whole board is trying to get me better at math. Well, not better exactly, but math literate or something. Look at this. It's like they planned it or something. I'm not going to read all that, but it sounds like they want me to do well and be well. Pretty sweet, eh? They're working on all kinds of stuff. They use these teacher words like content and pedagogy and assessment. They call using iPad apps, Twitter, and stuff like that leveraging digital. I know. Teachers, right? Apparently this math thing is a pretty huge deal. Every principal and junior teacher in our boards is involved. Even every grade 9 and 10 applied math teacher. The elementary and high school teachers are even working together on this transitions project to help us move from elementary school to high school. The board is all in. They've got people supporting the system workshops, school inquiry teams, and they're even in our classrooms. From what I've heard, the teachers and principals are experiencing the same learning as we are. They get to try all the fun stuff, and it's starting to happen in our classes too. The teachers call it responsive learning environments. Fancy. They got to check out all the new tech, like virtual reality, augmented reality, green screening, iPads, coding, spheros, even before we do. The math leads get to learn from math experts and learn more about how to teach math in different ways for different students. The teachers have inquiry meetings working together to figure out how it could look in their class with their students. If you don't believe me, it's all on Twitter. Hashtag RCDSBMath. Search it up. There's tons of resources our math team has created for teachers to explore. There's even a YouTube channel. The adults have figured out YouTube. A bit. RCDSB Tech Academy and the Apps for Math playlist. With all this going on, students are still the focus, as it should be, if you ask me. Our classes are changing. Don't get me wrong. We're still learning math, but our teachers want us to have these skills for the future, like collaboration and critical thinking, and they want us to become global citizens. Sounds like comic book stuff to me. We've got iPads and Chromebooks in our schools, all the schools got sweet spheral robots and we use them in math for drawing shapes, doing area and perimeter, and stuff like that. Oh, and we've been coding too. But to solve math challenges. See? It's different, right? It's weird because we used to do math a lot on our own. Now we work together on stuff. I'm told we're collaborating. We have more fun and we do a bunch of things in different ways. I'm told we're being creative. And we talk a lot more in math. It really helps me to talk it out and think about what I can do better. Apparently, I'm communicating my thinking and taking risks. Even my classroom looks different, with areas to work together and tech and bins of math stuff on the shelves. And I think it's working. My teacher says I've got strategies to solve problems. If I wasn't awesome already, I'm awesomer now. Is that even a word? Math is more fun. My teacher even seems to like it. Well, even more than she did before. My teachers really want me to do well in math and want to know about how I learn best. They figure out what I know right now and then what I still need to learn to reach their high standards. They know about me through my learner profile. Total TMI. I know there are a lot of kids like me who are okay at math, but when it comes to writing it down or answering in class, it sometimes gets stuck or it doesn't come out right. That's why I like how we're using tech to show what we're thinking 
and using virtual tools to solve math problems. There's even a math assistive tech coach who comes to work with us and our teachers so we know what tech to use and how to be really comfortable using it. So what is really different? If there were two big ideas from all this RMS stuff, I'd say learning partnerships and purposeful use of tech. Learning partnerships means that there are a bunch of different people with different skills all working together to make this RMS awesome. For this to work, it has to happen at each level, the district, the school, and the classroom. Purposeful use of tech means we're shifting our thinking about tech use in the system and the classroom. Okay, I've got to go. My phone is buzzing. See you around.